Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most common issues faced by SPSS modeler users. That's the white screen problem during login. If you are using SPSS modeler version one or earlier, chances are you have seen this. If you open your modeler and enter your credentials and boom, the screen goes completely white. No success message, no error, nothing. Windows users fear the blue screen, but SPSS modeler fears the white screen. What's actually happening is simple. Modeler is trying to validate your IBM login, but the internal login component, a small file named IBM ID lick or LIC.zar is outdated. Even if you type the correct username or password, the authentication can't complete, so you are stuck on that white void forever. The good news, this is a super easy to fix. All we need to do is replace the IBM ID leak.zar file inside modeler's installation folder with the latest one from IBM Fix Central. Let's look at the step by step tutorial for the fix. Step one, close all running instances of SPSS modeler. Make sure it's not open in the background. Step two, Go to IBM Fix Central. You'll find the link in the description and the resources provided. Or you can do simple Google search. Log in using your IBM ID and password. Step three, find the correct fix build. You can filter using product name, platform and version or simply use the fix ID I have shared in the description. This will take you directly to the download page for that patch. Step four, Download and unzip the fix. Inside that folder, you will find the updated IBM ID leak.zar file. That's the hero of our story. Step 5. Locate your SPSS modeler installation folder. Go to the program files, right click on the modeler icon and open file location. You will first land in the shortcut folder. Do the same again. Right click open file location. Now you are inside the bin folder. Go one level up then open the lib folder. And the last step, replace the file. Here you will see the old IBM ID leak.zar. Don't delete it right away. Rename it to something like IBM ID leak underscore old or IBM ID leak underscore original or simply IBM ID leak underscore underscore. Just in case something goes wrong and we need to revert back to the original file, we have it. So remember this, Never delete the original files from the installation folder. Now copy the new IBM ID leak.zar file that we have downloaded and unzipped kept in download folder and paste it right here in the lib folder. That's it. Now launch SPSS modeler again, enter your IBM ID and wait for it. The login page loads perfectly, no more white screen. You can now log in, access your models, and get back to work in the wonderful world of SPSS Modeler. Thanks for watching and happy modeling.